Hi, I'm Jason with the Portland Pie Company. These are our flavored pizza doughs, white, wheat, basil, beer, and garlic that are available at supermarkets throughout New England. The most common question we get involves proofing of the dough, which is when should I use it? Uh, it ships into the supermarkets frozen and it will keep uh, for seven to nine days refrigerated. The dough will actually double in size and completely fill the bag. It's good to use until the yeast dies, at which point the product will collapse. Um, you do want the dough to be nice and soft and proofed up before you use it. Uh, now that we've proofed our dough, we can talk about some of the things that we're going to need uh, to cook the pizza. Um, obviously your ingredients, you're going to need some pizza dough, pizza sauce, pizza cheese, a little flour for stretching your dough. You need a little oil, olive, vegetable, canola, uh, pan spray. This is called a spoodle for your pizza sauce. If you don't have one of these, a big spoon will work just fine. Pizza cutter for cutting your pizza. Pastry brush for brushing oil onto your dough. And this is called a dough docker. Uh, puts little holes in the pizza dough to prevent bubbling of the crust. If you don't have one of those, a fork will work just fine. Uh, there's a few different kinds of things that you can cook your pizza on. It's a deep dish pan and a flat pizza pan that you can cook on. Again, both of these need to be pan sprayed before you put the dough on them. And preheat your oven to 475 degrees. Now that we have everything that we need to make the pizza, it's time for the funnest and the messiest part of the pizza making process. It's just stretching the dough. First you take the dough out of the bag and then you want to flour it. So I'm gonna dip it here in the flour. The trick with stretching pizza dough is to get it as flat and round as possible before you ever pick it up off the pan. Um, so I start at the edges and I press down and turn, press, turn, until you've gone all the way around. And then you can use the palm of your hand to kind of press the pizza down so before you pick it up, you want it about this size, and then you're ready to stretch the dough. Um, you want to keep the dough on your fists like that, and the weight of the dough is actually stretching it for you. But if you work your way around, apply a little pressure with your knuckles. You're not applying any pressure to the middle of the dough. And there you've got a 16 inch circle ready to put on your pizza, pizza pan. Pan spray. If you have a new pan, you want to be pretty liberal. Place the dough on the pan like that. I like to use olive oil around the edges of the crust. It gives it a nice golden color. So work that around the outside of the dough, like so. And then to prevent bubbling when it's cooking in the oven, you want to dock the dough. So you're just basically putting little holes. And that's it. Now you're ready for sauce, cheese, and whatever toppings you want to put on the pizza. Now that we have the dough stretched out, we're ready to add sauce and cheese and whatever other toppings you want to put on your pizza. Um, you want about six ounces of pizza sauce. Put it in the middle and work your way out. That's about six ounces of pizza sauce. Eight to 10 ounces of cheese. Again, you wanna leave about an inch on the outside. You wanna be able to see the pizza sauce through the cheese a little bit. It's about right, the right amount for cheese pizza. Um, now's the time if you wanna add pepperoni or chicken or any other toppings. Um, your oven is preheated to 475 and you're gonna, every oven's a little bit different. Um, between eight and 12 minutes, uh, start at 10 and uh, see where you're at and work from there. Um, once you know how your, your oven works, you'll know exactly how long the pizza will take. Um, cooking on a pizza pan like I did, they're kind of thick and the bottom doesn't cook that well. Uh, the last minute or two um, of cooking that pizza, I'm gonna take the pan out from underneath the pizza in the oven and let the bottom brown up real nice. So you can see how easy it is to put together pizzas in your kitchen. Uh, it's a great low cost way to spend a little quality time with your family, uh, bring a little fun back into making dinner. And when you're done, you get a great, fresh, uh, homemade pizza. 
There's a bunch of different other things that you can do with the pizza dough. Uh, focaccia, bread bowls, breadsticks. If you want directions on how to cook anything else, um, or if you have any other questions, please visit us at our website at portlandpie.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.